Joined by the Nanaimo Clippers 20 year olds today, we have Jamie Collins, Parker Colley, Jordan Worry, Cal Babich, Taz Berman, and Brandon Marinelli. We're going to talk about some junior hockey memories, some things they're going to miss about Nanaimo, and look a little bit ahead to the BC Hockey League playoffs. In our first segment here, we're going to talk playoff moments, and Jamie Collins, the captain, will start us off. Jamie, what's been the best junior hockey playoff moment so far in your career? Um, well, this is, I've only been in the playoffs um, for one round and we only had five games. So, um, you know, it's going to have to be the, the one win that we had last year. And, um, you know, it was, it was, playoffs are always a fun time and it was a fun win. And, you know, hopefully we can get some playoff wins this year and uh, add to that. Parker Colley, anything stand out about your playoff career so far? We're talking Prince George Spruce Kings, obviously. Yeah, I've only got to experience one round of playoffs, but, uh, you know, we were down 3-0, and then uh, we won two straight to head back to Wenatchee, and then we didn't get to pull out the game six, but it was definitely a pretty cool experience to uh, to play in those those games in Wenatchee. Jordan War, you've been through some wars, pardon the pun, but what's your best playoff memory so far? Uh, my favorite playoff memory is probably uh, my first year in the WHL playing for Everett. We were uh, first round against Spokane game six, and that game ended up going to triple overtime, and we pulled it out on the road. So that was definitely one of the better wins I've had in the playoffs for sure. With all due respect to everybody else, I think Cal probably has the best story here. Uh, maybe the best story in the history of junior hockey. Uh, take your time with it, Cal. Tell the story. Uh, yeah, last year in Everett, uh, we were playing with Tori in game six, and uh, the game just happened to go uh, five extra periods, and I ended up scoring the winning goal, and it was just kind of a, a lucky break. But, I mean, that's definitely the best, the best moment for me, for sure, probably in my whole career. So. Taz Berman, I don't know if there's a, a great playoff start story for you in the Western Hockey League, but what about uh, even a team moment for you as part of the Western Hockey League in your playoffs past? Uh, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, wouldn't say there's a great start because there hasn't been one. So, But, um, I mean, as far as team goes, uh, I mean, last year was pretty cool just seeing kind of the whole atmosphere in the playoffs, you know, the crowd, that was the biggest thing for me. I mean, we went a couple of rounds last year and when I was in Swift Current and uh, just kind of how electric it was, especially in Swift, uh, you know, tiny town, but it was just so impressive kind of seeing uh, the fans show up and how loud it is and uh, that I think for me is that was the coolest part. Brandon Marinelli, last word for you on this one. What's your best junior hockey playoff memory so far? Uh, I'd probably say winning the championship my first year. Just that whole experience and seeing the crowd in and, and a game seven or game six atmosphere. Um, it's pretty electrifying. We're going to talk billet families now and so important to the lives of these junior hockey players. And we'll start with Brandon Marinelli again. I'm looking for a funny story if you have one. Uh, maybe something that was very important to you and heartfelt if you have one. If not, just even a thank you. Brandon Marinelli, let's start with you. A story about your billet family. Yeah, so I just moved into a new billet home, but uh, I would like to say thank you, Lisa, for taking me in and Byron. And uh, yeah, I appreciate everything you guys do for me. So Let's move back on to Taz Berman. Taz, a good billet story from your junior hockey career if you have one. Uh, I mean, I don't have any stories that are too outrageous, but... It just kind of, I just appreciate so much, you know, what they've done considering how many belts I've been in. I don't even know what it'll meant now. Six, seven, who knows? It's a big number. So I'm just real thankful for all these different families from so many different cities, so many different backgrounds who have taken me in. Um, you know, they've all done a wonderful job, and I mean, it's just huge for, for any junior team to operate. Kyle Babish, what about you in terms of a, a good billet story? Uh, yeah, for me, I mean, I've had a lot of billets, uh, definitely, <laughs> for sure, going around, so, um, but in Prince Albert, uh, my billets, we always end up throwing the parties for whatever reason, just kind of always ended up at our house, and um, I was usually the one trying to take care of the house, making sure nothing was broken, and my billets would always be there, and like they'd ha have a, a little bit to drink, for sure, <laughs> and then um, I went upstairs into the room, because no one was supposed to be in there, and I walk in, the door was closed, and my billet dad's laying on the bed with like six girls that are probably like 19, 20 year olds, <laughs> and I'm just like, I was like, like, what's going on, and then all of a sudden I asked him a question about the house and they didn't realize that he was my billet dad. They thought he was one of our, like one of the guys on the team or one of the, like one of our friends. And then like for, the, they thought he was like 20, 21, something like that. And then he just never let my billet mom forget that they, they thought he was 20 and like and harped on that for the rest of the year. So it was pretty good. And then, yeah, obviously I've had quite a few other ones and especially appreciate um, Lou and Gord here. So thanks. Jordan Worry, a good billet story for you. 
Yeah, I myself have been through a lot of billet families. I mean, five junior teams, you're going to go through quite a bit. But, uh, you know, all my billets I've had have been great, uh, all different. But uh, the one this year has definitely been uh, uh, the one I've been closest to. And Mimi, she's been uh, been an angel for all the guys on the team. We always have dinners and whatnot. And we actually haven't done it this year. But uh, in previous years, she we have a rec room in our complex. And uh, every year she'll host, like, a beer pong tournament and, like, bring pizza for the guys and make a bunch of food so that's uh just shows like the kind of person she is and uh hopefully we get to do that by the end of the playoffs here parker colleague a few billet stops along the way prince george and obviously and then i will what's your best billet story uh it's probably last year in prince george um my billets let me have some of the boys over and it was getting pretty late and it was around one uh, in the morning and uh, i came upstairs and my billet dad was wrestling our captain in the kitchen so they were both pretty, uh, pretty uh, drunk, and uh, they <laughs> they just decided to go at each other, and it was pretty funny. But uh, I've been lucky to have two really good billets here in PG and Nanaimo, and uh, very thankful for both of them. In our final segment here of our first part of the Clipper Twenty Year Olds, let's have Jamie Collins have the last word. A good billet story. Um, yeah, I just want, I've been um, with my billets for uh, two years now, Chad and Lisa. So it's um, you know I've, I've grown really close to them, and you know they've they've brought me in like family. I can remember one story from last year. Um, my billet parents were getting pretty frustrated with the kids. I'm not gonna say me, but like their kids. Um, and then one morning they were just they were just gone, and, and no one knew where they went. And then they sent us a text at night and we were, they were like, yeah, we're in Tofino. And then I, and for the next like three days, they kept texting us at night and saying, yeah, we're going to stay up for one more day. So they kind of just left us there on our own. But no, they've been, they've been great for, great for me. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really thankful for them. That's segment one of our three segments with the Nanaimo Clipper 20 year olds back with more after this.